one of the most important determining factors if your print on demand shop is actually going to make a lot of sales and be really profitable is how many products you actually can get uploaded. Now, stores with only 10 or 20 products or designs uploaded typically aren't going to make a ton of sales and a ton of profit. But if you can be uploading hundreds, if not thousands of designs to your Etsy shop, to your other print on demand shops, there is a big chance that you are going to have some really standout best sellers that are going to start making you some real profit. So in today's video, I'm actually going to share a tool with you that is going to help you guys be able to do bulk uploads so that you can upload a bunch of designs, descriptions, and titles, and tags all at one time so you can really focus on the things that are going to make a big difference, which is doing research, making additional designs so that you can get a lot of products posted. Now, I have partnered with Sale Samurai for today's video to actually bring you a full tutorial of how to use their bulk uploader. If you're not familiar familiar with Sales Samurai. They are an all-in-one print-on-demand and Etsy keyword research tool, but they also have some other really amazing tools, including a bulk uploader that can save you a ton of time and help you to actually start making real profit in your business. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to use their bulk upload feature. Now, to actually take advantage of this bulk uploader tool, you're going to already need an Etsy shop that is integrated with a manufacturing partner. Now, this tool does work with both print Printful and Printify, but I personally love and use Printify as my manufacturing partner. So that is who I'm going to take you through the process of using this tool with. And if you've never integrated your Etsy shop with a manufacturing partner, I actually have a full walkthrough tutorial here. But just know that to use this bulk uploader on Sales Samurai, you're going to already need an Etsy shop that is set up and integrated with your production partner. Now I am logged into my Sales Samurai account, which if you haven't ever created an account with them, I will have all of their information linked down below in the description, as well as a 20% off coupon that is going to get you guys that discount for life. But the very first thing you're going to need to do is log into your account and then go over here to the upper right hand corner where it says uploader. And if you haven't already, you're going to need to download basically the bulk uploader software for your computer. So if you have a Windows, Typically the Windows 32 is going to be the best option. And then if you have the Mac, you're just going to click that and then download that. Now, all you have to do is open that download and it's going to walk you through just installing that. It's a super easy process. Now, once you have downloaded that software, if you open it up, it is going to pull up a screen that looks basically like this. So the way that this bulk uploader works is you are going to be creating a CSV file with all the information for the products you're uploading. So this can be something like an Excel file or Google Sheets, which is what I personally use. If you aren't familiar with Google Sheets, it's basically a free version of Excel, so you can easily just download that to use. Now, personally, I like to use the bulk uploader for a couple different reasons, but the main one that I like to use it for is because whenever I find a niche that does really, really well for me, like I tell you guys all the time, is I go all in on that niche. So if I have found a certain product, product or a type of niche or products that does really well, I want to keep uploading and uploading and uploading that. So I am kind of owning that whole niche. Whenever someone looks for a shirt or a product in that particular area, they are always going to come across mine because I want to be dominating those pages of listings. So a bulk uploader really comes in handy for my business if I am uploading a bunch of different designs, but that are in the same niche. So they're going to share a lot of the same thing. Now you definitely don't have to use it for that same purpose. You can upload a bunch of different designs in all sorts of niches at one time, but I find that it personally really helps me if I am uploading a lot of products kind of in a similar niche. So for today, I actually have a bunch of nursing shirts that I created in a previous video before. I will link that up here if you want to watch that, but they are all in that nursing niche. Now they're all a little bit different. They have a bunch of different sub niches or cross niches with them but they all generally share the theme of nurse. So that means that a lot of the things about their title, description, and tags are going to be very similar. So I can save myself a ton of time by not replicating what I'm doing 10 or 20 different times 
but in using a bulk uploader, I am doing the work once, maybe making a few changes, and then being able to upload all of these similar products at one time. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to actually need to start creating your spreadsheet to keep all the information for your designs. So all you're going to start by doing is you're going to kind of create the header of all the different sections of information that you want to upload. So the first one is going to be title. The next one is going to be description. The next one is going to be price. And then the last one is going to be the image. Now those headers are what Sales Samurai is going to use in their bulk uploader to figure out what thing needs to go in each section. Now the first design that I am actually going to be putting in this bulk uploader is actually this Western style nursing design. So this is the image that I'm going to be using. Now here is my Google Sheets kind of more filled out with the four shirts that I'm going to be uploading to Printify today. So in that title section, I just wrote out the title that I want to use for that Western style nursing design. So it says Western nurse shirt, cowgirl nurse shirt, gift for nurse, medical school gift, nurse graduation gift, registered nurse t-shirt for Christmas. Now, as you can see, I also have a groovy nurse shirt. I have a Halloween nurse shirt and I have a Christmas nurse shirt but I kind of took that same title template and just changed kind of some of those keywords that indicate the sub niche, but keep all of the information that this is a general nursing shirt. And then I did the very same thing with the description as well. I kind of wrote out one general description and then just by changing a couple keywords, I was able to tailor it more towards the sub niche of those shirts because they are all in that nursing niche. Now for the price, I put in $24.99, which is a lot of times what I charge for my bill canvas t-shirts, but for whatever product you're doing, you want to choose the price that is going to make sure you're getting enough profit. And that's going to change depending on which provider you use and which product you actually pick. Now, the image path is what you're going to put right here. And that is what the bulk uploader is going to use to actually find your image on your computer. Now, for the bulk uploader, if you are able to get the image path for your image, you also can just load a folder full of your images as well and select that to pull from. But I think the easier way is just putting the image path here. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you that right now. So for each of your designs, if you right click on them, it is going to pull up this menu. And then if you are on Mac, once this is open, you are just going to push option. And then it is going to have the option show up of copy Wild West Nurse PNG as path name. So that is what you're going to want to click. And you can do that with all of the different images that you want to up upload. And then you're just going to add that whole path you're going to paste it right here in the image path section. So today I'm only doing four different products, but you can also use the same process to do hundreds of uploads at one time. So say you had one design in a bunch of different color variations, you could do that as well here too. You could really fill this out and use this to save a ton of time. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just doing a few different options. Now, once our Google Sheets file is completely ready, all we're going to do is go over here to file and we're going to go to download. And then we want to make sure that we're not downloading it as an Excel file or open document or anything. We're going to want to do a comma separated values download. That is the CSV file. Now we're back over to the Sales Samurai uploader and we are going to go over here to this first section that says CSV table. And you can either do the CSV or CSV with headers, which if you make sure that the first row is those header titles, then this is what you're going to select the CSV with headers. And then you're just going to select the file that you just downloaded. Now you're going to go over here to the top where it says services and go over to Printify, which is who I'm using. This is who is connected to my Etsy shop. Now on Printify, it is going to give you the option to select which product you want to upload this to. And it's important to make sure you're going to toggle this as visible. Now I am going to upload this to a Bella and Canvas 3001. That is just my preferred choice for t-shirts, especially on Etsy. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find the unisex jersey short sleeve tee and I'm going to choose that. Now it's going to bring us over here to where we're going to fill out all the information that we want the uploader to pull from. Now it's going to give you this drop down that shows all of the different print providers for the shirt that you chose on Printify. Now I'm going to go today with Swift POD. They are one of my top choices for a manufacturer on Printify. 
They have tons of colors and their price point is really unbeatable. Now, the next thing we want to fill out is going to be our store name. Now, this is going to be the name that is on your Etsy store that you're going to ultimately be loading these to. And this is the same store name that should be integrated already with your Printify account. You are going to need to make sure that those are integrated first before you use this bulk uploader. Now, I am actually using my test Etsy and Printify account for this today. So it is just called Hannah E. Test shop. So I'm going to make sure to write down this store name exactly as it is. So if you have capitals, if you have spaces, you're going to want to make sure you do it exactly. All right. So I uploaded my store name here and then the store type is going to be Etsy, but they also have some other options too. If you didn't have an Etsy shop. Now we go over here to the printing areas. So this is basically going to tell the uploader where they want to pull the image from. So for the front side, we want to tell it to pull the image from the image path section. Now, if you wanted the design on the back side instead, you could do that here. But right now we are only putting the image on the front side. Now for publishing options, I am going to select save as draft so we can do some additional edits on Etsy or it's not going to automatically charge us that 20 cents until we make sure that everything is correct. So I'm going to have it save as draft and then we're going to select the sizes. I'm going to go ahead and check all those sizes here, but say you only wanted to upload extra small, you could just select the sizes that you wanted. Now for colors, you can pick all the colors that you want. I'm going to go ahead and just pick this black color. And if you picked multiple colors, you can select which of those you wanted to be the preview color. Now for the data for the title, we're going to click the title section. So it pulls from that column. And then the description, we're going to match that with description. That's why it's really important to have those titles labeled really well so that you can make sure you're doing the right area. Now for the price, we're going to click the price. And then shipping profile, this is going to automatically be set from Printify. So I am not going to include anything there. I'm just going to use their automatic shipping profile. Now we're going to go over here to the uploader section, and then it's going to give us the option to select Printful, Printify, or Guten, but we are paired with Printify right now. So I am going to go ahead and click that. And if you want to, there's also the option to do a trademark check on this too. But if we know everything is good to go, we're just going to push start uploading. Now, if you aren't already logged into your Printify account on your current computer, it's going to bring a pop-up window up that is going to prompt you to log into the correct Printify account, but I am already logged in there right now. So it's just going to begin starting the process. Now, as you see here, it's going ahead and it's starting submitting these uploads. And if I go over to Printify, I can see what it's actually doing in real time. All right, so if we go back to Printify to the tab that it pulled up, we can see it's actually automatically going through the whole process of uploading the image and making the title description and uploading the price. So I am not touching this. It's doing all of this automatically. So right now it's deselecting all the all of the colors and sizes that we don't want. So if we go back over to the uploader, it's going to show us what it's currently working on. So right now it's unchecking those colors. All right, so now it's changing the color on here and it's uploaded our artwork. Now it's moving on to actually changing that title where you can see it's just filling that in. I didn't do any of that. And then it's changing the description there. Now it's updating the price as well. And then as we can see, it is publishing that to our Etsy shop right now. So it's going to actually go ahead and show up on Etsy. Now it does sometimes take a few moments for it to actually fully publish on Etsy, which is the same when you use Printify as well but it's doing that right now. Now, right here, we can see there is a delay between starting the next one. And that is typically going to be about 30 seconds, which just means that it is acting kind of as a human would. So there's going to be a little bit of a delay before it starts the next one so that your computer or any of the software doesn't flag it as kind of a bot doing this. But now it's going through that whole same process with the next item. But now if I log into my actual Etsy account, I can go over here to my draft section and I can actually see the first draft that it created. And as each one goes, it's going to show up right here so that I can edit it in my Etsy store. If I wanted to change any of the other things, I could do that right from here. Back on my sales summer uploader, it's going to show me what items are still remaining and then which ones of them are done here. Now, if something does fail, if there was a mistake maybe that you had where it couldn't find an image or something, it would go over here to failed. But for right now, we have the one that is done right now, and that's just going to keep 
going. Now it's going through this exact same process with the next design. So we can see it's that groovy nurse one. It's changing everything for us. And it's going to have that customized title, the customized description that we don't actually have to include, which this is super nice because this can be one of the most tedious parts is the uploading process and anything I can do to make this go faster for myself and kind of remove that barrier. It's a fantastic tool that I want to utilize. So now we can see that these two items have been finished and they are going to show up as hidden on our Etsy account. So let's go over back to Etsy and we can see that second one there too. All right, so the second one has also been uploaded and then it's just going to keep going through the process doing all of those other items that we had included in that original CSV file. Now, once all of those have been bulk automatically uploaded to your drafts, all you're gonna have to do is just go back into those listings and edit any additional information. So if you wanted to include a different mock-up and include some tags, you could add those at that point. And then you're just gonna go ahead and publish that to your Etsy shop and it is completely good to go. Now, this kind of tool is going to save you hours on uploading, especially if you have a bunch of products kind of in a similar niche or that you can kind of reuse some of that same information. Using a tool like this, you can stop wasting a lot of time on the really tedious tasks of uploading products and really focus on things that are going to make you more money, which is going to be researching new products and niches and actually making some really great designs that could become best sellers for your shop. Now, again, I will have all of Sales Samurai's information linked down below. And like I mentioned before, Sales Samurai is not just a bulk uploader. They are an amazing keyword research tool. So if you want a full tutorial and really a full scope, make sure you watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.